tonight for the nearly 1 million Americans living with Parkinson's. There's been a major breakthrough overseas. A man with a debilitating disease walking again. And as Fox 5's Teresa Priolo shows us, it's all thanks to an implant. You're watching Mark walk around his hometown of Bordeaux, France, something he isn't supposed to be able to do. At the age of 63, the Frenchman is a late stage Parkinson sufferer who was unable to walk a few feet without falling. Now he's walking close to four miles independently. He is the first patient in the world to receive a spinal implant that treats advanced Parkinson's. It stimulates the neurons, rerouting the body's damaged pathways. And Dr. Erwin Bazar helped make this happen. We are stimulating in a way that is recreating the normal walking behavior. So what you want, you want to stimulate each muscle at a time, which is responsible for the uh, contraction of, uh, of every uh, type of muscles involved in the walking behavior. And that is the breakthrough. To understand the magnitude of this medical breakthrough, consider this from the journal Lancet. This is the freezing gait that often affects Parkinson's patients. 90% of all patients deal with significant balance issues, and then at some point they just can't walk. This neurostimulator is reversing Mark's condition. So that's what it's doing. So it's what's called a closed loop. In other words, it reads, literally reads the patient's mind to figure out when they want to walk and then says, okay, in order to make you walk normally, we will send X and Y signals through this spinal cord stimulator, and it does it continuously. The implant hasn't been tested in a full clinical trial yet. The Swiss team behind the research says they need to enroll six more patients to see if these results can be replicated. My role was to implant electrodes over the spinal cord responsible for locomotion. So those are the last six centimeters of the spinal cord, and I applied electrodes on the top of the spinal cord that are linked to a neurostimulator located under the skin in the region of the abdomen. We start programming the stimulator in order to apply this electrical stimulation to the spinal cord of Mark and he starts walking better. Je m'appelle Marc Gauthier, des choses de la maladie de Parkinson que j'ai depuis mes 36 ans, ça fait 25 ans. Instead of focusing on the region of the brain that are deprived of dopamine, we thought that we could focus on the spinal cord that ultimately is responsible for the activation of leg muscle in order to walk. My role was to implant electrodes over the spinal cord responsible for locomotion. So those are the last six centimeters of the spinal cord and I applied electrodes on the top of the spinal cord that are linked to a neurostimulator located under the skin in the region of the abdomen. we start programming the stimulator in order to apply this electrical stimulation to the spinal cord of Mark. And he starts walking better. After a few months of rehabilitation, supported by the stimulation, Mark regained the ability to walk independently outside, he does not experience the frequent fall that he experienced before. He's able to go through like a narrow opening that would trigger freezing of gates prior to the stimulation. Là, j'y rentre tranquillement, sans aucun problème. But it all changed after he became the first person to receive a new Swiss-designed implant. Ça a changé ma vie parce que maintenant, je peux sortir de chez moi, je peux aller faire des courses, je peux aller même à pied, j'y vais. Fait exercice. 
63-year-old Gutierre received a neuroprosthetic composed of an electrode field placed against his spinal cord, combined with an electrical impulse generator under the skin of his abdomen. The device stimulates his spinal cord to activate his leg muscles. Dr. Gregoire Courtine of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne co-led the project. The technology is a neurostimulator that delivers precise pulses of electricity to the region of the spinal cord involved in the control of leg muscles. And the pulses are delivered at the correct location with the correct timing in order to reproduce the way the spinal cord is activated naturally in order to walk. The implant, designed by Netherlands-based tech company called Onward Medical, is unique in its ability to target the spinal cord in a specific and flexible way. The findings suggest the technology could be used more widely in advanced Parkinson's patients. Neurosurgeon Jocelyn Block carried out the surgery on Gutierrez. Courtine said the electrical pulses delivered to Gautier's spinal cord reproduce the way he would walk naturally. With this therapy, if people can gain more confidence and can go out and have a better social interaction and do more things, it's an enormous plus in the daily activity and the quality of life.